Well, hello there, and welcome back to another edition of the Pet Sports League. This is going to be game five here, so we're in the heart of the lineup here, heart of the season. Um, you know, last game, tough uh, tough outing against Marte. No, again, score doesn't reflect it. We're a bit of a second-half team. You know, we're one of these teams that likes to play down the competition, and uh, we just got to get better at that. You know, that's something that... Um, we talked about, you know, in the past couple days here, and um, good got time to reflect on what's going on here, and um, I think we're in a good spot moving forward here. So, um, you know, we're just going to dive right into it here. Um, got my coffee, as usual. Hope you got yours as well. Uh, maybe you should get some popcorn, because this is going to be a show today, I have a feeling. Um, you know, we'll get into our opponent in just a second here, but we're going to stick with the same lineup, um, just because I think... Um, you can't just pull the trigger too fast, and uh, you know last game was a big one because we integrated the golden retrievers into the mix. Didn't really get any cool dogs um, from the last one, so uh, I want to give them a couple games to gel. You know we did win by over 100 points last time. Uh, we're still in that quest for 200 points in the game. Uh, last game or third quarter was really slow, so uh, we're sticking with the same lineup here. Max Powers, um, he's the guy that Max Powers two. I'm sorry, uh, he's the guy here that's going to be. He's a big deal. He's a focal part of our offense. Um, if you remember, we the Yorkie that was a Max that was Max Powers, the original the OG, and um, you know he basically lit it up. I mean, he did a great job, but you know the way this works is you have to. You can only have two kinds of dogs in there. So, you know, do I want to do I want to have small Yorkies, you know, peppering my lineup for the sake of one wide receiver? Or, you know, do I want to put in Max Power? who had a great, great game against us. So, you know, I, I'm going to put him in there, and they have utility all over the field. So, um, so we got two Goldens and an American Bulldog up top. Uh, Fran Narfin at left. Tackle Ben Dover at center and Jimmy Allen at right tackle. And then we got uh, wide receiver Max Powers, number two, opposite of him, Ponce de Leon. And then uh, Terry Tate, really, from game one, has been an absolute monster. Um, just, uh, you know, catching the rock, running the rock, uh, hitting the holes, making it happen, third and short. Um, just, you know, that your classic utility knife kind of guy. You know, he's a Swiss Army knife. He's going to do everything you need him to do. Defensive side of the ball, uh, we got Terry Tate, a linebacker. Joey Backup, really, he's been stepping up. He's really one of the only guys on the team that does go only one way. Um, as his last name would indicate, if you haven't been following along, he's a career backup. You know, every step of the way, he's been one of these guys that's found himself in the next level every year. And, um, you know, he just, he gets it done. And he's never really had an opportunity to shine. So he's been playing well back there. He does make some big plays. He's more of a heat-seeking missile, though. He's going to he's gonna make some big plays. He will. He's going to break up some passes, maybe a pick or two. But, you know, he's, he's not going to make every play. He's not that consistent guy you're looking for. But in this league... You know, it's it's an offensive week, so if you can get a guy that's going to change possession for you once or twice a game, that's that's what we're you know looking to get out of him. So he's done that so far, so I can't complain. Um, Powers, I think I'm going to put a Monty Tumor on this side. See, that's the problem with this game; they have to go both ways. So you know, Max Powers got to go both ways. So I don't really want him to, but I have to. Um, but him and Pastelion have developed quite a relationship. So with them both playing DB on defense, um, I think it really helps that rhythm. Um, and the, you know, it's kind of like they're in it together on both sides of the ball, and they work very well on opposite sides of the ball or on opposite sides of the field. So I like it a lot. I like the way that this, uh, this sets up here. And then um, you know, on off or on, um, we run a three-man front. So we got Ben Dover, nose guard, Fran Narf in the right end, and Jimmy Allen at left end. I'll be honest with you, um, constantly Owen over here on, at defensive back. Uh, I'm sorry, Terry Tate. Um, he, it's this is not how he's set up in the game, by the way. This is just for some reason how they just play. Terry Tate's really drop, and then constantly owns, you know, out left. Um, Terry Tate makes a lot of big plays too. I mean, this guy's collected a couple MVPs. 
on along the way here, um, whether it be first half, second half game guy. Uh, he's, he's done a real good job for us, so we're going to keep him in, uh, keep blitzing him. That's really the focal point of our offense is we figure out the rhythm of the opposing offense, um, and then it's just like you got to nip it in the bud. You know, as soon as you see it developing, you got to hit it. Remember, this game, is, this is a league where there's no defensive pass interference, uh, regardless of where the ball is. So if you see a guy wide open, you can just knock him, and uh, there's no no foul. The key is you can't knock him too early, because then what happens is they can get back up, and then you know they're still acting in the play. So it's all about timing, and Terry Tate does that well in the play. So there's our starting lineup. Um, as far as the extras that we got here, um, I think it worked for us well. Uh, we got the spiky hat and the goldens. Um, we have the uh, the money sign here because uh, you know golden retrievers, gold cash money, baby. And uh, he's got the gold chain there. Um, got the polka dot booties. Good, good traction play here. Um, especially, you'll see in this game, we're playing on the beach, so I think that's going to be a key uh, key factor there. Uh, we switch up the uniform to this one. I don't know if I like it. It's called the Streamline. I, uh, I think we're going to go back to the eighth notes. I like the eighth notes look. Kind of goes with our vibe as musicians. You know, so we'll do that. That's the only adjustment I'm going to make, though, on that end. And then uh, we'll take a look at the Bulldog over here on the right. Um... Classic, you know, top hat, bandana looking guy um, in case he needs to, um, you know, protect himself against the coronavirus mid-game. He can just pull that up, so that's good that he's got that and they don't want to be too uh, too safe. Um, he's got the streamlined jersey. I'm going to mix that up, though, too. We want, it, we want it to be a uniform. I mean, it's called a uniform, so I, mean, I don't need to really explain any more than that. Uh, he's got the booties on, too. All dogs got booties on. Um, and I think that's about it for him. I will take a look at um, our QB here, and um, we gave him boots. Uh, we didn't know if that was going to be an issue last game. Didn't seem to be. Um, didn't really hold him back at all. Uh, he's got the big top hat as well. You know, kind of team uniformity. But golden retrievers. I think it's more of a weapon to have that spiky hat on there. We gave it a shot. It worked out well. We'll keep it. The specs. Um, Honestly, that did cause a couple issues in the first game, but I think it was more of an adjustment thing. Um, he hadn't played with them before, so um, I think that I expect this game to settle down a little bit with the specs. But um, yeah, this is what we're going to roll with here. So here we go, game five. Uh, we're playing Tahani. So obviously, she's some kind of um, majestic Hawaiian voodoo princess kind of thing going on. Um, I don't understand this league and the regulations on uniforms. She's a hula skirt and a coconut bra. Um, doesn't seem to be very safe, but that's the league. You know, it's you want to be a cutting edge, kind of controversial league, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to get. So um, she's wrong with that. Now, the thing I do find very interesting about this is she's got a, I believe this is a Jack Russell and a Lamb. And these are two quality dogs that I would like to have on my squad. So. Winning today uh, would be a great step in the direction of uh, you know our long-term goals ultimately to get Jerry Rice and unlock that team. So um, I think this is going to be a good step in the right direction for that. So without further ado, let's get into Game Five. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Now, as per tradition, uh, the crab. I'm just going to talk smack about the crab. I freaking hate this Jamo. He's got four bones. He's obviously not crossing them. Um, and it may not seem obvious to you, but at the level of expertise that I, that I have seen this, um, I tell right off the bat, this guy's a, he's a swindler. You know what I mean? This is the guy at the intersections, you know, begging for money, and then he walks into his house at night because he's definitely not homeless. He's that kind of guy. You know what I mean? No one wants to see that. So there's no place for that in this game, and I hope the league adjusts accordingly in the future. All right. Rob versus Tahani. Now, I don't know if you noticed Rob's hair there. Beautiful flowing hair. Um, we're hiding that under the top hat. Once we uh, get to prime time, you know, we may take the head off, let that flow. Again, I'm a heads guy. I'm down 3-1. Um, it's been tails three times, heads once. Um, it's been tough, but I'm a guy who sticks by my morals. You know what I mean? I can't panic when things are against me. So, going heads. And there we go. You know, so... Right now we're 3-2, tails to heads, so you know it's not devastating and we're going to make a comeback here. Uh, always kick, give the ball, set the tone on defense, defend the north and from the north, always got to defend it. And here we go. First quarter. Down check. 
interesting field. Kind of looks like a Mario Kart vibe. Yeah, if you play that Koopa Beach kind of thing. Oh, misplayed off the off the draw here. He's going right for an air phone. You can tell. Come in hot, baby. Oh yeah, that's the tone right there. That's why the Goldens are such a great addition to the team. First one down the field, just bearing him with that spiky hat. All right. Here we go. Interesting. Put that up. We got a slot guy. Okay. Start and simple. Start and simple with a simple toss right. We got ham too. Who did we play last game? Marty. He had ham, I think, too. Interesting decision on all this ham ball. Now, if you notice, this is a thing that a lot of the teams don't make adjustments for in the league, but you gotta take into account when you're play calling where you are in the field and what obstacles you're dealing with. The dog ran directly into a rock, so when she was looking to pass the when he was on the ground, probably suffered a massive concussion. Here we go. Okay. Okay, did you see this? That's exactly what I was talking about. Saw the play developing, tackled him, but the other guy caught it. That's fine. No harm, no foul. They got, they're in a hole, fourth and six. They're punting. Let's see if we can block it. Oh, man. Oh, by an inch. I think that might have been a fake punt. It looked like they were lined up to punt. That's okay. You know, they, they got me. They got me. They pulled a quick one on me. And, uh, you know, what am I going to do, brother? Initial vibes I'm getting from Tahani is that she's pretty smart. She's dinking and dunking. She's chipping her way down the field. Um, but it's going to be interesting because we're a bend, don't break kind of offense. Or defense, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, she likes that play up the middle. She likes the toss. So what that's telling me, and this is what we saw in film, but you never know how it's going to play out. You can't assume anything's going to happen the way you plan for. But we saw she had a weak arm on film, and that's just playing out in real life here. So... Again, like you just saw, buried him before the play went. I mean, that's just a smart football play. Those add up. Those add up over the course of the game. Relentless pursuit! What? Third and 14. The play it's... We'll play it safe here. We'll play long pass. Look at us. We're defending the first down line. See if I can get a chip on the outside receiver here. Missed him. That might come back to bite me in the butt. Nope. Held on to it too long. That's just a good play call. You know, that's, that's a coverage sack. I'll be honest with you. That's a coverage sack. I didn't get the chip I was looking for. Now, again, let's see what happens here. Fourth and 18 now. Um, let's see what happens if she's going to pass or not. I, I think she's going to pass. There's a lineup for punt again. And see, they faked it again. That's a turnover on downs. Let's go. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier. She doesn't have a strong arm. When you're in a hole like that, 18 of the first down, and she's dropping back and she's letting her rip. Just good scouting, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat myself on the back on that one. So now, I would have liked to run doggies go deep, but there's a gargantuan palm tree that's collapsed on the field, so we're not gonna go that. We're gonna kind of shift right. Let's see if we can just hit B on this mid drag here. I got tackled by my own guy. You hate to see that, especially out of the gates. Now I think that's gonna free us up for a little doggies go deep, though. It is. Um, let's give Max Powers to the opportunity to make a play here. Didn't cover him. He wants it. He's open. And that's just how it's done. Got a dip and dive here. Go. Okay. I mean, just Mr. Reliable. Mr. Reliable. I like this roll right play. I'm going to try it again. Um, just got to be, you know, it's... Rob's got to be aware of this C route, you know, coming around, so just get into it over here. Let's miss him. Boom. 
big loop around. Get the first down. Put your head down. Make a move. Make a play. Oh yeah, come on. Get the end zone. Top of the charts, baby. Honestly, I know it's hard to score in this league. I know it's an offensive league, but it's still challenging. And you got to be happy whenever you get there. But you know, two hour points is really just not ideal. Especially when you're on the road. But uh, you know, my move is the uh, the doggies go deep play. I've loved it. Um, it's worked. Well, you just get the ball in that play. Yeah, get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. He wants it. He's open, and just get in there. And that's how it's done. So this is move. This is signature. Chase your tail. Um, let him do it. You know, I'm not gonna. It, I'm not going to scold him for performing in the field. You know, if his motivation is to get there to do that, then, you know, whatever motivates you. Right. Just like that. I don't like the two R points. That could come back to haunt us in a little bit. Um, we got to do better on that front, but um, really I'm just trying to get points off the, uh, the turnover and downs. You know, that's really what the main objective was. Wow. Very unique field they have here. This play, they like to throw up that middle, I think. Yep. So this is where you start to learn a little bit about their tendencies, um, what they've shown us, um, you know, in the past week or so, um, you know, of other teams they've played. Uh, this guy coming back here, yeah. Oh, I missed him. It's on me. Ooh. Wow, that was all oh, in a big block. See, it's a smart dog going for our Jack Russell's a smart dog, so. <laughs> yeah, that was a great play. Can't deny it. Can't deny that. All right, setting up left. Look for that misdirection coming back left. Here we go. Ooh, I thought I had him. Okay, okay. Minimal gain, was a gain of five, four, six. Gain a six. No, gain a four. That was horrific by that dog. I don't know what was going on there, um, but he was at a full out sprint backwards. So, right. you no, know, that's a player looking for arcs, but not knowing the situation. Concerns me that if we do win this game, that dog is starting to point nowhere. Right up the middle, right up the middle. Good. Okay. All right. So fourth and nine. History tells me they're going to go for it. I'm going to listen to history. If you don't listen to history, you need to repeat it. I told you, you get life lessons. There's another one for you. They lined up to punt. I call shenanigans in the punt. Oh. No harm, no foul. I played it safe. They punted it. It's going to be a touchback. And oh, she stuck it right in the water. It's a great punt. He got someone knowing her home field. And that's. He knew it wasn't going to bounce. Drops it at the one. Got room, though. I got room. I just buried that Jack Russell, though. So. Ooh, ooh. Thought I avoided that. But. All right, let's uh, da, 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 let's go high note. Let's start the. I like this high note. I got a lot of space to the left, and I'm just gonna hit this A on a cross, you know, on a sweep here, kind of pitch it to him a little bit. That false step, he's coming across, and just get the, get the playmakers your balls in space, the ball in space. You know, from a here we go, get an arf. There we go. Oh, okay, we got arf. So something else I haven't really mentioned either is the ARFs build up. So if you notice, they have 13 ARFs when they punt it. So we take those over, which is huge. So you know, this is this is a series that we need to score on. So I like this kind of like a wheel route. Now if C's smart, he won't run into this rock. They're dogs, so I don't know. Let's see. He jumped over it. 
Superstar. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta get some arfs. Gotta get some arfs. Get over there. Nice juke. Get up there. Okay, get on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Why'd you jump up, bud? I was looking for that present. Walking the plank. That's okay. That's a big first down. Keep the ball moving. And a corn. I like this. I'm going to roll out. I'm going to hit this backside. Kind of like, an, like a corner, I guess you'd call it. Kind of like a post corner, I'd say. He wants it. He's open. Come on. Oh, yeah. Get in there. I'm going to jump on the rock. Jump on the rock. I was hoping they would give me extra herbs, but okay. Now this is this is huge. This is a big swing here. Go for the arf bonus. Kick it in for half points. Run or pass it in for full points. This is a big swing because you got 18 arps on the line here. Again, I'm gonna stick with. I have these you know core principles that I stick by in my game planning and get the ball in your playmaker's hands. And we're gonna let Max Power to make a play here. And he threw a pick. That is not good at all. Wow. And like I said before the game, these labs, they are athletes. Labs are not the smartest. They don't make the best decision. So right now, if you... So this is just a point I'd like to make. Um, You can't ride the highs, and you can't get too high in the highs. You can't get too low in the lows. In this situation, we had 18 arc points to get there, and, you know, we gave it away. We just gave it away. So we have 14 points total and two scores. You just see how the arcs really can make a huge difference. I mean, he's Mahani can just march down the field right now and you know he take the lead, which is a crazy concept. But if that's that crab on the right that's juggling, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a discussion with the league. All right. So we just gotta play some tough defense here. Um, we've done it, you know, first two drives. There we go, there we go. It's diagnosed, and it's reaction and execution. That's what it's all about. This is where your, between games, your film study really comes into play. Problem with that one, she'd all day. She'd all day. She could have sat down, had a cup of coffee, a sandwich. Coming across. She wants him. No? Oh, I missed him. I read that. Hit him. Ah. Good job. Right. See, I diagnosed it, read it, I reacted to it, didn't execute. And of success without all three. There's that sweep. It's one of their consistent plays. Where they run that out of the uh, strong right? Oh, they got stack right here. So you got to watch someone come across. Oh, this big loop. Oh, I missed him. Go for the sack. That's a coverage sack. That's some. That's possibly on a max powers too, just dropping into coverage, reading the zone, making the play, communicating. Third and nine. Let's go. Keep him away. Oh, I got it. Ah. Wow, come on. This is disappointing. There is just a pile of dogs. This is this is disappointing. This should have never happened. Going strong. Ah, that should have never happened. <laughs> Gotta get better, you know? Again, the execution wasn't there. This is what I'm talking about. If she converts this two-point conversion here, we're down. 
We're going. We're, we're four seconds away from scoreless first quarter to all of a sudden we're in the we're losing. This is big right here. This is this is really big. That was big by that defensive end. Execution was there on that one, baby. Did you see that? Buried him. All right. Damage control. It's all about damage control. Now, our defense stepped up. Let's return the favor offense. Let's score some points. Nice catch on the fly like that. Get some arps. Let's rock here. Boom, baby. All right, let's go here. Find these bad boys. Arps all the way. And that turtle. Ooh. That's 13 arps off the kickoff. That's almost the points we have in the game. That's fine. That's good. See? Our dogs hate the crabs. Everyone hates the crabs. We gotta talk to the league about this. Second quarter. I don't know what kind of operation Tahani's running over here, but I don't like it. Um, roll right. It's a risky play. Um, with this guy coming across, but you know what I mean? I'm going to roll left this time. Kind of mask it a little bit. Oh, he hit him. He hit him. Oh, that's a good play. Oh, even better. Even better by our dog. Abusing the turtle. That turtle is basically just a prop. No regard for turtle life in this game. I bet Tahani uses straws, too. Plastic straws. Oh, let's go. Get that present. Present time, baby. Oh, you missed it. Huge play, huge play to open up the second quarter. Go for the arf bonus. Kick it in for half points. Run or pass it in for full points. Hmm. We'll try fetch. Let me hear you sing it. I think they're gonna think that max powers is the main option here, and I'm gonna give it to A here. Whoever that is is probably Terry. Oh, get that misdirection. Oh, oh, get that. Get there. Get there. Huge. That is just an absolutely monstrous swing right there. That is that is a great, great way to start the second quarter. Remember, we get the ball at half, too. In, side note, Rob with the boots. Um, I think that's helped his kicking game quite a bit. He had some struggles early on. Um, I think the momentum from his boots, this dog's just running back. Um, Got to make the play here. Got to capitalize on their mental errors, and we did. All right, they got a long field to go here. Not impossible, hard, but not impossible. Um, just got to play some smart, sound defense. Got to execute on these uh, chips. Swarming defense. Ooh. Okay. What's interesting to me, too, is they have different color labs, it appears. They have black labs and yellow labs. Something to keep an eye on. There we go. There we go. Jacked him up. Love a good hit before the play. Second and ten. Let's go. Let's go. Keep him short. Keep him short. Coming across. That black lab. There we go. Solid. That's pursuit. We run that pursuit drill attack and uh, practice all the time. Third and seven. Third and long. Um, I'm going to get risky here. I'm going to heavy left blitz. Gotta chip this guy. Chipped him. Got him on his butt. Oh, I thought I had her. Kinda messed up. Going strong. You can tell. You can tell whoever that is is upset. He didn't want that to happen. He just sat after he made the play. I thought he was holding his emotions back, because I know he's pretty moody. Good play. I don't know why her nose tackle just freaked out. He must have had a pancake or something. We'll get a game from later, see what happened there. Hey. 
Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. That's just poor play calling. You know, you're setting your receivers up for no success. Third and three. Let's go stop the run. We're going dog wall. Hold the line. Ah, they went over top on us. Smart. For some reason, my own guy tackled me there. That's nice. Oh, damn. That black lab is good. Gotta give it to him. Nice play. Stop all ours. That dog. I don't know if you saw that. Knocked down two receivers. Just chaos. That's the difference in the game right now. Is they're not getting ours, we're getting ours. You know, our defense gets a stop here and there. You know, it, honestly, the game. This league is. He's just gonna take it. Um, the game is set up for offense. You know, the league, it's an offensive league, and I've said this before, but I'll just reiterate. When you can stop ARF attempts, that's really, that's the difference maker. That's the big, big difference maker. So, like I said earlier, you got to know the field, and you got to, you know, pay attention to things that are happening, too. So this cornerback covering uh, this receiver right here um, was just given steroids, so we're going to stay clear of that. A is going right into the boat. So I'm not going to even hit him. I like this C route. It's like this odd, like he's going to stick the out route, put his feet in, then go straight across the field. I like that. Especially as a late option. I think there's a lot of misdirection that's going to be happening. I think it's going to be wide open. Oh, yeah. Right up the middle. Look at that. Put your head down. Get the first. Now it's a foot race. Making dogs miss. Good job. Great play. That's a great play. It's embarrassing for that lab to be celebrating that play. Rock and left. This is not one we run a lot. In this situation, I like this B route right over the turtle. And he wants it at the turtle. Boom. Got that black lab running. Circle. Right into the tree that Jack went. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Why is this so slow? But he's got moves. Oh yeah. Let's get the present this time. Got the present. Wow. Thank you and good. Hell overwhelmed by that guy. You know, that just goes to show you. Athleticism comes in all different shapes and sizes. Even I know he's slow, but the guy's got moves. Just made a fifty yard play here. Um I'm not going to let them intimidate me. I'm going to go doggies, go deep again. See, they're just playing the run here, I believe. They're up tight. I think I can take the top off of them with max powers, too. Let's see. Yep. Just like that. It's the difference between a good team and a great team. A good team scores touchdowns. A great team, our points. Come on, Rob. Get it down there. It's a nice kick. Oh, that's a great kick. Coffin corner. The little dogs can't get up on the big rocks, and that's a problem. Something I need to take into consideration if I do, you know, hold on to win this game. Um, the Jack Russells. You know, you got to weigh the athleticism versus the limitations. Coming around. Boom. Diagnosed it. Not today, sucker. Split backfield like a wishbone kind of thing. We got a flank right. Oh, yeah. We read that one. See, this is how you start to diagnose and start to separate and pull away is you start to see tendencies. There's only so many plays you can run in a game, and their playbook seems pretty limited, so you start to understand... You know what they're what we're looking for. You know, key points. This was a bad play by me. 
This was not good. Still though, you know, it's a team effort and it's fourth down. Fourth and two, um, I think they're gonna go for it. They wanna give the home crowd a game and right now it's getting away from them, so. Strong left blitz, get risky with it. Guy blitz, made the play in the backfield, so. Who's the idiot now? Uh, we go for the jugular. I think this is a, a move that I'm gonna go backside C and fetch. Worked in the past. I like this. They're not. I don't think they're expecting it. Constellion hasn't really made a big play yet. He's open. Call for it. Ah! Ooh, I thought he was running into a tree. Didn't mean to throw it to him. Regardless, playmaker's gonna make plays. Boom! Right for the jugular. You turn the ball over to us. We score. Go for the arf bonus. Kick it in for half points. I had to get rid of that though. Their defensive end going down on me. I'm gonna. Uh, nope. I'm not gonna run it. I made that decision long ago. We're abandoning the run. Can of corn. Uh. Nope. We got that rock on the left. I think. Loopy. Loopy's a good one. Loopy's a good one. If our line can hold up. Oh boy. Whoa. <sighs> Got alligator arms in traffic. You know, there's only Rob. Rob can do so much. Hit him in the chest. You know, like this. Take the catch. Let me hear you sing That's a mental error. He's capable of making that catch. He makes that catch, he's walking in the end zone. Mental errors. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. So, a lot just happened. That soliloquy I just gave about, you know, the Jack Russells and the limitations on athletic ability, I couldn't even spit it out. He ran by Doggo, ran him over, head to head, boom. And then gets tackled by his own guy. So, I don't know what to think about these Jack Russells. They're kind of wild. Or... Hmm. You know, like, look, he just ran backwards. Crazy. Good job. He got the first down. Very unorthodox. You know, it's like Hashik. Not, I'm not saying they're the greatest dog of all time, like Dominic Hashik obviously was, but what I'm saying is... A very unorthodox style you wouldn't teach, but it works for them in a very specific way. It's something to consider. You know, I got a lot to think about if we do mind of it. My dog is gone. Ran up the tree. Oh, all right. Uh, second and in inches. I beg to differ on the inches part, but no challenge. Like. Ooh. 131 left in the first half. This has been a defensive battle. Which is weird to think about the score or ties it is right now, but just the way this league is, you know? Like, compared to arena football, these players are a little bit more skilled in the sense that um, they're dogs. But um, other than that, it's pretty similar. And that's just a pursuit sack. That's just relentless defense by our defensive end. And he acts like he's been there before. You see him sitting down right there. He's not gonna celebrate your face. He knows we're up big. And he's, you know, a class act. I think that was Terry. Got in his way again. Um, all the dogs are doing flips now that it's inappropriate. You know, I just get done saying our team has so much um, you know, respect for the other team that they start doing that nonsense. Um we're gonna do we're gonna do long pass. Defend it. Yeah, they're going for it. We knew it. One eighteen left, they're home down big. Gotta go for it in fourth. Going up the middle. Come on, make a play. Wow. I've been knocking the crab. I've been knocking the crab. 
but he just made a huge play for us. He scared the hell out of that jack if you saw that, and that delayed it enough for me to make the play. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try fetch again, and I'm gonna try to hit. Oh, they're. We gotta get. Okay. See how deep they're playing. Let's get the ball in the hands of a quick, and let's just you know see if we can get some blocks. Oh boy, you're backwards. Oh yeah, come on. Beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, if they're, this has always been my argument against, um, always been my argument against prevent defense is, you know, let's just, let's just hit it underneath. You're gonna let me drop. See, they're right out, right out of the treatment. Very questionable coaching. Um, that tells me that that coach just reacts very quickly to things. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know how he completed that pass, but I'll take it. He was down, and I had someone bearing down on me, so I had to get rid of it. We haven't run star power yet. Reason being is I hate this play, and I think it's stupid. But we're going to give it a shot. I mean, it's in our playbook. Ooh, I like that comeback, though. Good route. Way to read the defense. See if we can get to this tree. Ah. Did you see if I was, I was trying to get up that tree there? All right, I think it's time. Are you ready to we haven't run it in a while. Let's get Max Powers to the ball and doggies go deep. Oh, he runs that so well. And he's got the speed to finish. Ooh, I talked too early. Nice rip. No, I did not. Great job. Playmaker's gonna make plays. Go for the arc and he's, you know, he's doing his patented spin move. Problem is when you score on that play, you can't run it again. Cause they're just sitting on it. They know he's high. Like he's, he's all jacked up. He's an emotional high. I like crossbones. I forget about this play quite often. Um, let's go B on this one. I, I like B. A lot of misdirection on that one, and uh, caused a lot of confusion in the DBs, and um, a lot of times the secondary route just opens wide up, as exemplified right there. All right. Oh, that's a terrible kick, Rob. Come on. Terrible kick. We're going to get a good field position because of that. Come on, make a tackle, make a tackle. Okay. The only saving grace about that kick was that it was uh, you know, right down the middle. No opportunities for any arch there, so that's good. 15 seconds. Just hold on for 15. We get the ball at half. Wow. I mean, they just chewed up half the clock with a, with a sweep right for some reason. So, looks like they may be mailing it in. Maybe a red herring for a deep ball here. I'm playing the long pass. No, they're just taking the time for some reason. All right, four seconds left. Got to play the long pass. Now that rant I went on about prevent defense. I mean, there are there are certain cases where it works. With 15 seconds and 80 yards to go, I think you can play it there. Make a play. End of the half. One second, everybody. Sorry. All right, whatever. All right. So there's a lot of chaos in halftime. Uh, the dogs are running around. Uh, the crab still didn't really move my opinion on him. So the thing I will say, you know, first impressions right here. MVP Max Powers too. I mean, I, I've already told you about him. I knew about him coming on the team. I knew what he was capable of. So the thing that I, you know, that kind of just like pops out to me though, like right off the bat, 
I don't like that they have so much red statistics because that means red is red. So six touchdowns to two. I don't like that. Um, I don't like. Okay, I like that I have a lot more touchdowns, but you know, seventy-nine divided by six was that one like thirteen point something points a, a touchdown? That's no good. You know, that's our arfs. We got to get better at that. Um, interceptions. You know, the interception was on the arf, so it wasn't a turnover on down. We still got the six, which obviously has something to do with our low arf conversion percentage. Twenty-five point arf play though, the highest scoring play. Very impressive. That's a good one. Run yardage. Not committed to the run, so that one I will concede on that. I will concede that I don't care about this statistic. Passing yardage, I mean, I mean that's just great this game. And uh, kick return yardage, we've always been. We don't get the ball kicked to us. You know, we've kicked off six times and we've received twice. So what's six divided by one forty? Um, what two? 22, like 14 yards of return, and we're averaging like 25. So, you know, take it for what it is. You know, I, our average is better, but, um, you know, they don't get that analytical in this game because this was, game was made in like, I think it might have been like 1942. So I think they're still using abacus as that. So they don't care about analytics. Uh, total yardage, 497 to 423. Uh, not the dominant performance you'd think, you know, looking at the score, but it's all about those arfs. And, uh, that's just basically what I've been saying since uh, you know first second of the game. But you know we get the ball at half. That's why we do what we do at the kickoffs. Um, always kick if uh, you get the decision at the beginning of the game. She kicked it directly on the goal line. That was impressive. And we're off. Second half begins now. Big block up front. Tried to get a little fancy there. See if it would work. Uh, when you're up big, you can do things like that. And honestly, we just went over it. Kick return yardage and. Uh, not really that big. All right. Treble clut. Trouble clut. We play on words. Uh, we're definitely going to stay away from that guy who just ate steroids on the field. Uh, see, we're going to see if, uh, got to keep an eye on this guy. If he blitzes, we're in trouble. But uh, let's see if we can wait till C gets open here. I like the stutter. I like the delay and incognito. Oh, he wants it. Come on. Call for it. I let it ride. Oh, yeah. Little trickery there. Get up there. Oh yeah, down the tree. Get the arfs racking up. Oh, he's slow. The guy in those steroids. Oh boy, watch out for him. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what a run! Again, the big fella. Bumbling. Bumbling. Shoot! And we're chuggling. Uh, I know. I like C on the streak. I don't know. I like it. He hasn't... Oh, boy. Rob doesn't have the arm to hit him. Excellent. Most excellent. Or you crucify me for saying he didn't have the arm to hit him. He had to peel back. But this is the sign of a good quarterback. Rob threw him open. He knew he couldn't get down there. But him and Pastelio are on the same page. And then he knew, get, break it, get to the open space. So, I'm not going to chastise him for that. We hit the player we wanted to hit, he got the time, and here we are in the end zone. So, call me crazy. Gotta go see, go and see. Love that. Oh, he got jacked up. Get back up. That play was doomed. We gotta get better at ours. Gotta stay on your feet. Gotta stay on your feet. Hello. Fight through. Oh yeah, that's this is a nice kick. You gotta fight through those illegal hits before the play. That's a great kick. Let's go. Why is he getting air points for that? I am. That's questionable. I didn't see me jump over any rocks or anything. I don't want to complain to, so. Ooh, come on. Ah, that was a nice little juke he did there. 
Good job. See, now they're going to be in a hurry up. Now they're going to be in a hurry to get the ball off the field. Now they need to score, they need to rush. <sighs> Not much going there. It's a good play by them, good play by us, you know. And you see that reflected in a five yard game. Get him. Got him. Think twice. Oh, how'd you let that happen? That's Joey backup, isn't it? Going strong. You know, that's classic Joey. This classic Joey. Uh oh, running back got steroids. Can you imagine in the NFL if, like, Dak Prescott was just like turned around and threw steroids at Ezekiel Elliott and he just ate him and then everything was good? It'd be kind of fun, actually. I'm down for that. Steroids work like that. Same play. Up the middle. Let's go. Stop him. That's something we're going to have to find a solution for. They seem to understand that that works against this defense, too. Ooh, in tight, got a flanker left. Kind of like the eye formation, it looked like. See, they're playing their strengths. She knows she can't... She's already learned that she can't pass the ball with us, so this is why you see reflected in uh, the statistics at halftime that they had a good run game. Uh, but you can't... We can't let them lull us to sleep. But our backs are against the line here, so we got to play a tough, you know, run defense. Like that. Back the line. Stop the run. I love blitzing. Love blitzing at the line. They're gonna score anyways. Let's put pressure on it. Uh, it got me thinking that the steroid dog was gonna get the ball, but he didn't. But it's fine. Listen, you're gonna score points. This is the PSL. You know, this is the highest level of football there is for dogs. So points are gonna be scored. I've said it before, and I've said it before, and I've said it before. Stop our points, and that's the difference in the game. Huge. She's kicking barefoot. That looks very painful. Mad respect. She's probably always barefoot, though. She's probably got some pretty tough feet. I bet it's a law in Hawaii that you can't wear shoes. That's just my opinion. If I lived in Hawaii and I was like the president of Hawaii, I would tell them not to wear shoes. No, there's not a president of Hawaii. Alright. I'm gonna go A. A quick cross. Mr. Oh yeah. Let's go. Get on that tree. Get on that tree. We know it's big. Get down there. Yes. That's big. That's fire eye. For, eh. Five hour points from that. Oh, shoestring tackle. Got me by the booty. Let's go high note. High note. Um, I like the quick pitch left. You know, I like it. It's like them. They run the ball all the time. And if they pass it, they hit us over top. We're like the reverse. We have an efficient passing offense. So if we do a quick toss left with misdirection on it, it gets them. Just like that. Come on. Okay. Took a yards in the first down. I'll always like that. I'll always take that. Um, I want to play right. Where's that sweep right play? Rolling right. There we go. I like this. Gotta stay out of C's way. We run that the hard way in the first play of the game. That's an interception. That's an interception, and that is that is not good. <clears throat> that lets him right back into it. Wow, that's a mental error. You know what that tells me is that uh, Tahani was on the sidelines not paying attention. And uh, what that tells me is that she um, just came in unprepared. And that's a mental error right off. 
That's not good. Not a good reflection. For a franchise quarterback. You expect that out of a backup, you know, if your if your starter goes down, but not not out of your out of your you know, franchise QB that you're putting your franchise on. Pass incomplete. That's diagnose, that's react, and execution. All three of those right there. How long is this guy in steroid? Warming. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the crab again. And then he hides. He's like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's two tackles by the crab today. Still not a fan. What was that? It's just a desperation, fourth down, just bomb. I told you she has no arm. You hate to see it if you're a fan of that team, but you love to see it if, uh, you know, you're a fan of Rob and my boys. Get that angle. Ah, oh, boy. Let's go. That's sticking with the play. That's just sticking with it. He got knocked down, got back up, Rob shuffling, lets it ride, touchdown. All right, eight arfs, let's go. We're going back to uh, Doggies Go Deep. We're going to let Max Powers 2 make a play here. I like this route. If he executes this, if he splits them, we'll just have to see. If not, we got B. I bet he'll be open. Mm, don't like it. Ooh, I don't like that either. Ooh, I do like it. Never mind. 99-18. I will say, to Tahani's credit, I think this is the lowest scoring game in the third, at the, this point in the third quarter that I've been involved in. No. 100 points against Madison. Wow, that was a low. We'll see. We'll see where we wind up in this game. Still plenty of time to go. You know, she... Uh, can and has the ability and has done, she's sustained long drives. So you can do that, chew some clock up, um, and keep herself in it. Uh, she's gonna need a lot of arms. Again, the Jack Russell just buried my golden retriever. Look at that, it takes three dogs to take down that little Jack. That's what I'm saying, man, very inconsistent. Very inconsistent out of that guy. Uh, you know, he's making those kind of plays and then he's running into trees, so. You never know what you're going to get out of him. He's a wild card. Um, he's got a lot of looking in the mirror to do if uh, we do you know, wind up having him on our team. Defensive end on the left side of the ball. Coming all the way across and making a play. That's very impressive. That's just pure athleticism. I believe that was true. Great play. Again, whoever 83, I gotta wish their names were there so you could see them, you know? Oh boy, come on. That's a great tackle. That's just staying with them. Fourth and seven. You'd think they gotta go for it, right? Let's stop the pass. Let's go deep. Long pass. Just protect the line. I think they're lined up to punt. Nope, faking it. Uh, the steroids. Good job. Boy. That's that's just a mental mental error on our part. If you learn from it, you move on. Can't dwell on it. And uh, you know, as soon as I finish saying that. Look at, look at Tahani just sitting there dancing for some reason. Oh my goodness, let's go. Get to that turtle. Ah! Huge play. Huge play. You give a big first and then you turn around and take it. You know what? Let's go for the jugular. Let's go. That knife right into their heart. Doggies go deep. Over the river, right through the woods. 
In the end, when the zone next powers goes. Come on. Oh, yeah. What a run! Good job. First. Um, I like this roll on. Uh, no, I don't like this roll on my play. They have been sitting on it all day. I do like that play. Not in this scenario, though. Um, Loopy has worked for us. We're going to try it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the fifth game in a row that we have hit the center in mark. So, good sign. This team is firing all cylinders. Um... How about fetch? Let's make this corner make a play. He didn't make a play, he went the wrong way. What a great route. He turned him inside out, if you noticed that. Threw his hips the wrong way. Boom. Big error. Well, we're up by 90. You know, this is where you want to be. This is where you want to be. Misplayed it. They're falling apart. Yes, that's a great play. Just a, just, not a great play, just a solid football play. I'm screaming down the field on a kickoff. You make the tackle on the first point of contact. All right, we're feeding steroids. Let's try to hit him. Knock him off the line. Oh, boy. I mean, that was three dogs he just ran through. So, I just I'll be, you know, upfront about my position on the whole steroids thing. I understand it's a part of this game. The league allows it. It's obviously encouraged. Um, but I, for one, do not like to give that. Sure, it's great now for entertainment purposes and, you know, obviously uh, performance. But for me, you know, I'm worried about these dogs after their playing career. And, you know, we know what happens to the dogs, you know, after their playing career. And they have all kinds of issues. And, um, you know, I've been working with PETA um, kind of behind the scenes to get the word out about what happens to them. Um, I'm not some kind of, like, social justice warrior, but, I, you know, I care about my dogs. So, you know, if, if it hasn't been clear so far about my stance on steroids in the league, there it is for you. So I just want to be upfront with you. Um, you know, if you don't like it, don't follow me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love my dogs. Sue me. He's going deep on this one. Wow, I think that was exactly as far as you could throw it. Maybe you should check the Ani for steroids. Fourth down. Look at Rob just jamming out. Look at him, he's going nuts. I wonder what song he's playing. Cruise ship in the background, what's that? The carnival cruise? Coffee's gone, folks. All right, let's go. Heavy left blitz. We're gonna blitz. Oh, more steroids. Pumping them full of steroids today. Oh, you see. I mean, tell me, I understand you like the high scoring, but, you know, my guy diagnosed the play, he came across, he let him do his whole arf thing, and then he just gets tossed aside like he's a child. More steroids, you know, I hate to keep harping on this, but, you know, it's going to be an ugly end of this guy's career. And you can see how it just swings the games, too. You know, it's all of a sudden he's got that third gear and he's, you know, off to the races. That's okay. You know what? I'm done. 
I'm done. Let, let the score reflect on, you know, what side of history you want to be on, all right? And we'll just leave it at that. And our best kick of the game. Let's see if we can swim. We swimming. Why is he so slow? American Bulldogs are not a swimming enough. What is happening? Okay, that dog's in the ocean. This guy was out of here. Keep an eye on him. Uh, <laughs> Whoopi. Whoopi's been working for us. A. Let's just keep an eye on A, because it'll be funny to watch him run into the ship. I think he ran away. Come on. Through traffic? Oh, yeah. Get on that tree. Get on that tree. And let's get some Mars, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, I thought I could have made it. That is okay. And that guy's celebrating. You're down, what, 74 points? And you just had a big play and you're celebrating? Those were your mentality. I like this B and the quick drag. For some reason, they're defending deep, so... Uh, let's see how this works out here. Wide open. Call for it. Here we go. Getting our... Oh, no! Pass incomplete. Second time this happened. I'll get our arms. We're gonna try it again. See now they've got smart to it, so we're gonna try to bust them up top with that C row. You know what? No. Give it an A in the swing. Let him make a play here. Oh yeah. The Marfs. The Marfs. I was led to believe that the hammock leads to the canopy jump, but I guess that's not what's happening anymore. Um, we're going to run high note again. Run it till we stop it, right? I love that play, man. That B, he's clearing house. I mean, it's a tiptoe into the end zone. Great play. Um, let's get this arf. Let's get this arf, baby. Pass it in um, let me think about what we should do. Uh, maybe doggies go deep. Oh, they're pressing too. He's gonna be open. Oh, they tackled him. Doesn't matter. He's open. Why would you press? Why would you play press coverage? There's a hundred dogs. All oh, three of my dogs are open. Poor coaching. Tahani, clean it up. Are you ready to rock? You know what I will say though? I'm like in uh, the game versus Marty. Uh, there have been no, it's been a clean game aside from the substance abuse. Um, there has been no late hits, no out of bow wounds hits. Um, I will give her that. Marty, I still have, uh, when he was get, you know, getting frustrated, he started hitting pretty late. And um, we, it is under review. Um, there will be fines delegated at some point, but um, that's you know, TBD, so we'll hear more about that in the coming weeks. Just stay tuned for that. She's hanging on to this for far too long. Yeah, it's... She's just throwing in... In, uh, like, low percentage throws, basically. She's She can't throw that far, and... Um, just having a lot of trouble with those deep balls, and we know that. Let's go. That's a great play. He's digging. What's he digging for? Probably some of those steroids they're hiding on the field. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about the steroids. Short pass. Third and eight. Protect the line. Keep an eye on this guy coming around. Got him. Boom. See, that's a quarterback that can't adjust on the fly either. She sees her primary read go down, and she stills just boom. Um, I think they're going to pass, and we're going to do short pass. Again, we're going to defend the line. Um, they're lined up to punt. Don't think they're going to. Didn't think they were going to. Didn't fool anybody. 
You didn't fool a single soul. Everyone knew what you were doing. You're down 90 points. You're three minutes left in the game, and you're running fake punts. If I was the owner, I'd be looking to replace Tahani real quick. Consider that crab. Why not? It's a good place today. Going deep. Get on these rocks. Let's go. Oh boy. What's going on here? There's a whole lot of nonsense. I don't even think we got the first down on that one. Wow. Um. I like this rolling right, and what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna hit A quick. I just wanna get the first down. There we go, get the first. That's all. We already did what we accomplished on this play. Now this is all just icing on the cake. Good job. Icing on the cake. Uh, do, 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 do. Can of corn. You know what I like? I like this tight end. Running that late drag. I'm gonna roll left and like look him off. Coming across. All oh, that misdirection. Got it. Let's go. I love it. I love it. It's just. It's just smart. It's just football. High football IQ by this team. You know, we've really taken a lot of time to learn a lot about the playbook. Um, you know, the con concepts what routes complement each other, where we should be in the field, at what point in our route tree, and uh, it's just execution. And you know, you're seeing it manifest in, um, if we score here, it's a 100 point lead. They're playing deep. We have to keep an eye on A, Max Powers 2. Um, we'll see if they tackle him before the, the play. They didn't, he just stayed, oh wow. That's a great play by that guy. Stayed in the back pedal. Um, knew it was coming. And uh, he's got the catch up speed. I threw it because I didn't think he had the catch up speed, but he does, and props to him. It's okay, though. We just got to take this to the garage now. It's 2.42 left in the game. Uh, nice catch by that guy in the short hop. And that's what it's all about. See you, Tahani. Come on. That's rock and roll. Haven't had a pick six in a while. Let's go. This defense, go for the I'll tell you, man, that is a heck of a run. Our passing in for full points. I like high note, like I said. Um, I like this contrast, you know, this A and the sweep wheel kind of a thing, and B in this kind of like, it's like a drag towards the line of scrimmage and he cuts it off up there. Um, you gotta get a flow for where the play is going. Corner's going with that outside guy. Give it, oh my goodness. Got caught up. That's okay. That's okay. Mental errors are gonna happen. You know, you just can't let it become a trend. So, that's his first drop of the game. So let it slide. And honestly, the way I see it, those were points that are defense scored, so... You know, I like it. I like where we're at. I think that's... Oh boy, here we go. That is great. Did you see, I don't know if you watched that. Uh, tackled the guy in the backfield that was the primary receiver. Uh, Tahani panicked and then results in the sack. That's that's a great play by our outside back there. Sweep to steroids. Bouncing off would-be tacklers. 
two string, not a first. Two minute warning, folks. Third and inches. We're gonna stop the run. We're gonna go strong blitz left. Let's we'll see if we can catch it here. High risk, high reward. Let's go. A wrecking ball in the backfield. Fourth and inches. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. Strong left blitz. Let's see what this, let's see what happens here. This would be really nice if we got the stop. Ah. Well, one can dream. One can dream. Good job. You know, it just it's annoying. It's like a delaying the inevitable, but that's the it's it's pro. You know, it's the highest level of uh, puppy fo dog football in the in the in the world, and these are all professionals that just you know they're competing at the highest level and they want to win, even if they can't. I'm gonna try to just still do their best. You gotta remember, a lot of these guys are selfish too. They just want to see their stat lines improve. So any extra yards or touches they can get, they're gonna, you know, want to show out. That's a, just an absolutely horrific play. I don't know why they would run that. We talked about that many times. That sweet play is just so transparent. Heavy left. Blitz. That crab is like a fifth defender out there. Good play. Good play. Coming up to make the hit. Joey back up. One out. Another fourth down situation. Let's do dog wall. Um, the crab left out here, so now we're back to four defenders. Let's go. I want to get another touchdown. Sorry, I'm selfish. You know, after, after that last um, interception. I don't like that, so come on. Stonehead. Pass incomplete. That one, that was a 50-50 ball. You know, I, I threw it up there thinking a receiver could maybe make a play. The best he could, got his hands on it. But pause, sir. Let's go. I like B and the drag. Let's see if he can buy time. Oh yeah, that misdirection. You see that lab was going the wrong way. Ooh, 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 get that turtle. Get that turtle. That turtle! Two string tap. A minute left. Um, we're gonna pass it. Let's go. Okay, that worked for us. It's been good. It's been a good play for us. A is going to immediately be out of play because he's going to jump that tree. Oh, yeah. Oh! Now, now it's becoming a trend. Now it's a trend. Not good. Good at all. I can try it again. Two time. Get up there, baby. Ooh. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You know, that's we've talked about that with Rob. You know, it's you're gonna face adversity as a quarterback, especially at the highest level in the in the world. Um, it's how you react to that adversity. So drops back, wide open, fumbles it, next play, right back at it, we're back. So you know, that, that just shows me that that's mental toughness, um, and that's something that I really like to see out of a leader and a franchise quarterback. Um, I think this one might be a touchdown. I don't want to be overzealous here, but... Like I'm from the future. Um... I might do something crazy here. I might do something crazy. There's 30 seconds left in the game. I mean, we're up 108. I'm gonna run it. I, this is, I said I'm never gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it. Look this headbanger. I don't why these are run plays. Because 
in a, in the NFL, you know, the linemen are either if it's a run play, they're committing downfield, or if it's a pass play, you know, they're in their, you know, they're, they're stepping backwards and you know, pass protecting. So, I guess it's defined in this game is if I throw to a dog that's behind the line of scrimmage, then that is a run play. Um, I'm gonna fake it to A, and I'm gonna let B ride. See how that, see how that works here. Oh, that was a mistake on my part. Well, it worked out, so. You can tell that we don't work on run plays that often on this team. Um, our offense did a great line in developing that wedge, and I should have given it to A, but, you know, you live, you learn, and it worked out for us, and he did his patented touchdown dance at the end, so. No harm, no foul, let's do a nice kick, here we go. 31 seconds, let's take it home. I'm telling you, man, these teams do not uh, game plan well for us. They think they know what we're going to do. And, you know, when they think we're going left, we're going right. When they think we're going right, we're going left. And then when they think we're going left again, we go up. You know, they have no idea. We're playing 3D chess while they're playing checkers on uh, a Mac. Uh, 24 seconds. Let's just sit back, see what they think they're going to do. Real world, that would be a fumble. She threw it directly backwards, but you know, we don't want to really pile on. Just let's just take this home. This is where I'll play prevent defense, just because I'm going to run out the clock and don't. Ten seconds. Five seconds. I mean, that was just... If you saw it, it telegraphed it like there's no tomorrow. I knew it was happening. You buried him. She still throws it. This is someone who cannot think on the fly. She's predetermining her receivers. Time's up. Let's get him. Ugh. Whoa, that turtle just stroked out. What was that about? Weird way to end the game, but we'll take it. And the patented spin move in the end zone. Rob's rocking out like the rock star that he is. And it's just a, something you've come to expect to see again. Another 1,000-yard offensive performance. MVP yet again is Max Powers, too. Um, the run yardage, I don't care. Like I said, that's a statistic I just couldn't care less about. Even on run plays, I'm looking to pass. Um, the interception, that is something we do have to get better on. Um, what that tells me is that we are um, kind of overloading on our star players. We need to spread the ball around a little bit more, um, and I think that will you know, increase that score up there. Again, the quest for 200 you know, still continues. Um, compared to other scores, this is a middle-of-the-road score. You know, low-end, 100, 116, high-end, 176, 188. I mean, this is kind of like smack dab in the middle of those. Um, so it, t it was a defensive battle at the beginning of the game, but kind of blew wide open. Uh, 13 touchdowns is a great number. 25-point highest scoring play, another great number. 819 passing yardage, very good. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. Great game, uh, great all around, and um, I'll take it. You know, a win's a win in this league. It's always tough to come by. But um, when you put up numbers like that and have an offensive showing like we did, you're, you're going to get the win most of the time, if not every time. So as we always like to do at the end of these, um, we like to take a look and see what kind of prizes we won, what kind of money we're talking about here. Uh, $340 do doggy dollars. Um, as the games progress, you get more money. So because that was a game five win, you know, we're getting more money um, as opposed to like a game. So um, $340 is a good amount of money. Um, we got a gift. If you remember, we jumped a hammock, and there was a present on the hammock. Uh, see what it is. Um, steroids. Don't care. Don't want them. Don't need them. And uh, so we got the lab, and we got the Jack Russell. Um, it'll be decision time next week. You know, uh, or next game. I'm sorry. When we decide what we're going to use. Um, so Ashley's already laughing at us, which seems like a bit of an arrogant move. Um, 
be doing that. Um, so let's just dig into it. Let's see. Uh, let's, do, let's go to the shop. See what we're dealing with here in terms of things we can buy. Um, quarterback items. Want any of this stuff? Let's look at the dog items. I don't really want any of this stuff either. I don't really care. Um, we do have 355 bucks to toy around with though, so let's go to the customize. That's really where I think the money is more well spent. Um, we'll take a look and see what we can buy here. Eighth notes. Uh, I guess we don't qualify for the flames yet. Uh, our. Ah. I don't really qualify for any of these yet either. Uh, funny cone. I'm looking forward to that one. Funny cone. If you have to tell me it's funny, is it going to be funny? You know, like. One of those people's like, oh, I'm really funny, I'm a funny guy. Well, if you're telling me you're funny, you're probably not funny. It's one of those things that you just find out by talking to you. Uh, hat. <clears throat> nah, nothing we can buy. Feet. Alright, so it looks like we're just in a bit of a holding pattern here. Let's check out Rob, see if we can buy anything for him. Uh, Head. Nothing. So you know what I think might might be the situation here. I think we have to buy all this nonsense in the shop or that stuff opens up. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I don't know if that's the way it works or not. So let's just spend our money on this nonsense. The heck of it. So we got everything everything that we could possibly buy in the dogs. Um, the quarterback items. Buy those. Um, and then we'll just check back and see how, if that's how that works. You know, we're still learning how this game works. Right. No, I just think we just have to keep winning. I uh, just spent a bunch of money on nonsense that we don't need. But, um, it's fine. So, here we are. Um, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's 14 total teams in this league, and we're on game five. So, you know, like I said, the longest journey starts with the first step. Um, you know, that was game five, on to game six, and um, yeah, we'll see you, we'll see you next time. Um, Ashley, I gotta do a little scouting on her. Uh, not really... I don't know, they got the Lassie dog there and a little Yorkie. Not too threatening. Um, I don't get the LOL nonsense. I don't know what she's laughing at. Uh, but we'll get into it, you know, next time we play. So uh, thanks. Thanks again. Always appre appreciate your patronage. And um, we'll, you know, see you again for another edition of the Pet Sports League, Jerry Rice Nidus Dog Football.